the Isle of Man for the Stour Puck Manx National Rally. Round three of the Mintex National Series. Peugeot had chosen this event to debut its 306 S16, but it was having a few problems with the bumps. As ever, the high-speed jumps of the Isle of Man really sorted the men from the boys. Even David Garners didn't like them, and there's no doubting his bravery. Chris Mellis, as ever, was totally committed. Unfortunately, turbo failure slowed him on SS4. Pete Doughty had a similar problem, but amazingly enough, found himself in the lead, much to his surprise. Steve Hill and Stella Boyles had very early problems as well. And absolute left over crest, 50. No Long right one. We've got two and a half miles left. Okay, we've got no boost for one thing, but it's missing as well. I can't hear you very well. David Mann was the early leader, leading after four stages. But they had to back off, and the co-driver aggravated an old neck injury. And then later on, a differential fail. Everybody else was trying as hard as they could. Some with success and some without. Gallanders didn't like this event, but what did he really think of it? I told you, it sounds like going to the dentist, and it is just like going to the dentist. It gives you pain and also makes you feel scared. I mean, really, we said if we we're lucky to be in the top 10, uh, sorry, the top 20 when we came in here, we're actually lying 11th just now, which is remarkable because uh, I'm just driving like an Nancy just now. I don't like it at all, I really don't. Is it just the tarmac that you don't uh, like? The whole thing. I mean, it's tarmac, it's got slick tyres, as you can see, it's got lower suspension, it's got bumpy roads, it's got... I know you're turning to say rally driver is supposed to handle all this, but uh, this is alien to me at all. I like big boulders and a lot of loose stuff and rocks and drops and... No, this is not for me, really. As you can see, they're calling over the car like ants. Intercooler pipe break twice on the first two stages. Um, got a strut break and now we've broken the clutch three stages ago, so we've done the last three stages getting pushes off the start line. What but position do you think you're in? I think we're fourth, so I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. They must all be going to sleep out there. Okay. I'm pleased to be here, we're very lucky to be here, so. Do you enjoy the tarmac? Yeah, I enjoy it all. So you don't mind the forest stages? No, either? I do, I enjoy them both. Different, different driving altogether, but uh, this is a little bit more tense. We're live fifth at the moment, but on first two stages we had no brakes. Uh, We've got new wheels on the car, and the wheels weren't fitting tight enough, and uh, they slackened off a bit. And with the result, the whole lot of the front uh, discs and calipers slackened off, and we had a very soft brake pedal, so we didn't have very good brakes at all. So we lost about a minute in the first two stages, but since then, we've been going a bit quicker. We're not, not quite on the pace, but we're not far away. We were leading after the first four stages. The first corner on das Glasgow, we broke the rear axle. So we've done uh, two stages with just front wheel drive. So we dropped about three minutes now, I think. The boys are changing the axle now, so hopefully everything will be all right. Yeah, I think I'll probably take about half an hour. Uh, we're feeling a bit despondent at the moment, <laughs> but hopefully things will improve as afternoon. No, it's been quite eventful up to now. Uh, we had a reasonable run on the first stage. Um, I'm not usually very good on Abiland, so I just tried to bed myself in on that stage, but it was a respectable time. And then halfway through the second stage, the turbo blew. So I thought the rally was over. But we carried on to the finish and we lost about half a minute. Um, changed the turbo and, and carried on. And I'm as surprised as anybody to be in the position I am. 
who, so what position are you running at the moment? I think we're leading by 40 seconds. So, a very surprised Pete Downs, he finds himself in the lead, with David Callender struggling on to enjoy the rally to some degree. As for the rest of the crews, try as hard as you can.
Right two, left two. So after a fast and spectacular event, it was Pete Doughty and Jerry Freeman who took victory in the Steyr Damerfoot Manx National Rally. And in doing so, Pete Doughty took the lead in the Ears Motor News Tarmac Championship, which in certain respects was even more important to him than actually winning the rally itself.